Welcome back YouTube fellow berserkers. Today we're going to do something really cool like always and we are going to attempt to make some divining rods or dousing rods, I guess they call those. A Winchelrute in German. What I'm going to do now is bend this over real carefully. Maybe I think if I put some heat on this that might make it a little better. Here, hold on, I got a torch right here. So I'm just going to heat this up real quick just for a little bit. I'm not trying to get it too hot, I'm just going to make it soft so it doesn't break on me. Look at that, it bends perfectly. 90 degrees right there. Now we're going to let that cool. Yeah, this works perfectly fine. They're going all over the place here. What's going on? Whoa! There's too much electricity in this place. Yeah, it's electricity. These things are going all over the place. And I'm not, I'm really not doing anything. So we're gonna take a quick walk. Look at that, that's pretty cool. I'm not doing anything. Just loosely holding this. My car is parked here. And the camera. And there's water behind me. And there's electric lines over there, so we're gonna try to we're gonna test this out and see what we can come up with if we come up with any decent results or if this is just magic. So let's see what we can find. I'm gonna take a walk up through here where I think there's water. Now I read a lot about the people that are able to do this. You have to visualize what it is you're looking for. So I'm gonna try to do that. We're gonna visualize a water source for a well. So we're gonna try to go up along this way right here. Anywhere along here would be a good place I would hope it'd be to place a well. Or actually up at the top right there because there is a natural spring located immediately above the Viking camp another 80 meters or so above. So we're, we're downhill from that which is really good. It would help us get closer to the water. So I'm gonna take a walk up there and we'll see what these magic rods can do. So let's, uh, and the battery on the camera is about to give out. So luckily today I brought a, a spare. So here we go. I'm gonna change the battery and take you with me. So here we go. I'm gonna walk up to the camp and then come back and get the camera. Looking for water for a well. What have you done? Did you eat something nasty? Oh, I stepped in your poop, did I not? Or did you step in your own poop? You stepped in your own poop, that's gross.
going on? That is crazy. Like I'm standing right above all my water jugs and I can feel these rods tingle in my hands and cross all over the place here. I have water jugs sitting out. It almost feels like when you touch static electricity. And now there's, it, once I turned away, it disappeared. So now they're kind of just out there searching and it wants to go back to the water jugs. But I'm going to take a couple steps off of that. I'm hoping up here somewhere is where I'm going to find my my destination. Look at that. I'm not doing that. Holding it very still. Water. We're looking for water. Just wanting to move around. Feels kind of like right now, like you're holding a rubber band stretched out in your hand and somebody pulls it in the other direction and lets go. That's kind of what this feels like. Now exactly in that direction up there is where the where the well, the natural spring is. Now I'm hoping Somewhere along this line here, We've got all kinds of animals out today. I gotta watch out. this mean? What does this mean? It wants me to go that direction. Would you look at this? I'm not doing this. This tickles like in my hands like I'm touching electricity. It's not the flies and the mosquitoes. Got a lot of metal objects over there. I said metal, look at that. Now it's pointing at the metal. You really have to visualize what you're looking for. I am looking for water, a spring, a dig a well. <laughs> this has got to be fucking, this has got to be a joke. I'm not doing that. Now I'll tell you guys where I was hoping to find water. Now I was hoping to find water with these. What amazed me is every time I walk by my water jugs over there that are full, it would point and I'd walk to it and it would tingle in my hands. That was really, really strange. I was hoping to find water precisely over here along the ridge line where I have dug out. Let me turn the camera to show you guys. Let's see if it's got more of a, yes right over there between that post and the tent in the corner back there by that that's where I was hoping because right about here where that flower pot is that's where I sunk my bobcat I sunk it down a good two feet in the ground just by driving over that spot so I know there's water beneath there so as I was digging it out I was digging into the wet clay which was like there was uh, no way that there's not water under there. I was in the gray clay 
and I was pulling it out and my hand was wet. So I know there's there's got to be water somewhere along maybe six feet down. Not even maybe. So what I'm going to hopefully do, if this doesn't work out for me, I'm going to actually just dig a test hole over there with a well digger. I'm going to do it by hand and I'm hopefully going to have the results that I need. What I got growing here is yellow clover. Um, Gelber Steinklee, they call that in German. And that's going to get about two meters tall, a meter fifty. That depends really. I've seen some of it when I went to go pick up my bee trees at a guy's place. It was uh, as tall as me and taller, so I know it goes around a meter sixty at least. So it's a two year plant. So for that to grow two years without being smashed, I put up this perimeter. Now I'm also going to do that down at the other end. I was actually going to work on that today also before it gets dark. I'm just going to put up four posts and pull a rope around. Sometime this week I'm getting some more of this gravel delivered so that I can finish the driveway and use it to, uh, to sow out on the, on the clover because it likes that loose gravelly ground to grow on. So we're going to do that next, sometime this week. In another two weeks or so it looks like we might be going into another lockdown, which would be very unfortunate. On the other hand, it's always best to make the best of things, which would give me a lot of time to do a lot of work here on the camp again. We can get a lot of things done when we don't have to go to work. So that's positive outlook onto the negative. I'm not hoping for it, but there's a lot of downdraw to the whole situation as well a lot of people are going to have to suffer. That's, that's never an intention, but if it comes, we're going to make the best of it. I'm going to attempt to do some more of this uh, playing with these rods here. Maybe I should do something, make a magic video, propeller rods find water. That'd be cool. Well, the rods are really showing me a lot of action along, coming up from the, right about, right where that first oak tree is over there and somewhat up here and I know for a fact that every time I walk up around the my water jugs these, these things go nuts so there's something about this I just don't understand it at this point okay there's a butterfly flying around in the camera lens Let's see if it'll come back okay anyway there it goes if it's quantum energy if it's pseudoscience magic or just plain luck I'll let you guys decide that but I'm gonna do some more testing here comes that butterfly again see it see that'd be one of the gods maybe it's Loki who knows I'm gonna do some experiments experiments with this and then I'm gonna film what I've been up to on the Viking camp before it gets dark here comes that moth again. Moth or butterfly? I can't see it's moving too quickly. So there is a whole bunch of wasps and bees. All the rotten cherries from the ch cherry tree are scattered about here. They're all over the place here. All right, you two, let me do some experiments. And if I get any results, I will get back on camera.